so once we write the backend code for editing and deleting the user so we will be implementing the same thing for front end as well so for that let me again go to the vs code here and inside this edit user so i will be just copying the whole code from this add user so let me just type ctrl a ctrl c to copy and let me just type ctrl v to paste and here so we just need to change some of the things so let me just type edit user instead of add user and here as well so let me just change this register into the edit user so just type edit user and now we just need to add the routing as well so the first thing we will be doing is routing and then we will be configuring these routes from here as well so we will be later on using the put axis so for now let me just go into the home and let me just change this button of this edit into the link so just type link and you need to make sure to import this link from react router dom as well and you just need to change this button into the link as well here and now we just need to give the path so just type 2 and just give the curly braces inside here and now we just need to type the backtick character here so this is the backtick character which is present just above the tab key of your keyboard so just type this backtick character and just type slash edit user so just type edit user and just type slash again and we just need to provide the user id so for that just type dollar and just type user dot id so you need to also give the curly braces inside here and once you do that so let me just save this from here and again we just need to add the same path into the route as well so for that just go into this app.js and here as well so just type route so just type route and just type exact path and here so we just need to give the edit user so just type edit user and slash just, just type the colon here and just type id and here so we just need to pass the element so which is basically edit user so just type curly braces here and just type edit user so just type edit user and just close the bracket here and here as well so again you need to make sure to import this edit user here as well so once you do that so now if i just go to the application and here let me just go into let me just click on cancel here so now if i just click on this edit so this should navigate us to this edit user page so once you configure this route so we just need to make some changes inside this edit user so since we have copied the code from this add user so the first thing we need to make change is inside this post so we just need to make it put and also we just need to change this code into backtick so just type backtick character and just change here as well and similarly so we just need to change this into the specific id so for that just type dollar and just type id and this id we will be getting from the current route so for that we just have to use one hook so which is use param so for that just go here and just type const and just type id in curly braces and just type use params and you need to make sure to import this use param here as well and just type the bracket here and once you do that so we just need to load the data whichever we have for that specific user so for that we will be creating one more function so for that just type const load user so just type load user and just type equals async and just type the arrow function inside here and just type const result and just type await and just type exius dot get and just type the backtick here as well and let me just copy this from here so just copy this and let me just paste it inside here so since we will be getting the user with that specific id so we will be using this here and just type now set user and just type result dot data here as well so now we just need to use the use effect hook so for that just go here and let me just type use effect and inside here so i will be writing the arrow function here and i will just add this load user function inside here so just type load user and again just keep the empty array here and once you do that so let me just save this application here and now if i just go to the application so you can see so this is already showing the data of 
user id one so if i just click on cancel so this if i just click on this user two demo so this should display the data here as well so let me just click on edit and now if i just click here and edit the user something like code with arjun and just click on submit so you can see so the data has been updated successfully so similarly let me just check for username and email as well so let me just change the username into code with arjun and in between so make sure to subscribe the code with arjun channel as well so let me just type code with arjun and click on submit so you can see the data has been successfully edited so this is how you do the edit functionality on your front-end application.